Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here and today I have a quick layout share with some of the layouts that I have created for uh, Christie's Beautiful Life uh, 30 Days of Sketches. Um, and so I thought I would show you the layouts that I created. I have been creating a few here and there and uh, I have just not filmed the process. Um, I just was playing and so I had put a few together. So this first one is from day one, which was uh, a sketch that was from Scrap a Sketch, and it was created by Lisa, and I don't want to butcher Lisa's last name. So you can find definitely all the details of uh, the sketch, the photo of the sketch, um, and everything on the Facebook group uh, if you want to check that out. But this is my take on that sketch, which I stayed pretty true to the original layout. Um, I think the only thing I added was this embellishment cluster down here, but I have all the tags and the sort of paper layers where the original sketch had placed the uh, embellishments and tags and things. Um, and so I really like how this one turned out. I am using a page kit I had put together quite a while back, so I pulled it out and created with the page kit. I did that for a few of these, and then some of them are using my March How to Kill a Kit with Style, so I'll try to let you know which ones. This one, I really had themed the whole kit on this very old piece of basic gray paper, which I absolutely loved, this floral pattern paper. And so I love how this turned out. I don't scrap with a ton of purple, but I really do like um, this pattern paper and all of the purple that I was able to bring out. Plus the photo is very pink, purple heavy, so it definitely worked. And so I've added little pearls in the, or little, yeah, pearl gem kind of details to my flowers. So very girly, love how this one turned out. The second one was for day two, which is done by Tracy Reed. So it is one of her sketches. And the original sketch had more photos in a smaller size, I do believe, that went sort of in the middle of the page. So I've definitely taken a bit of a liberty, uh, a few liberties on this layout. It's not an exact representation. I've obviously added this pattern paper in the background. I've added my di my um, embellishing on a diagonal, and um, I think the title on the original goes up at the top, and I have mine down here at the bottom, or you could call it this. And really, I would say Let's Have Fun is sort of the title, and then I just have Akuna Matata down here because this is obviously the Lion King show. And so I have all of my florals and I pulled in these fun, really cute little peacocks because the show obviously has lots of animals in it. And I figured I could make these peacocks work. This is actually using my How to Kill a Cat with Style for the month of March. And it is using, not only is this a sketch from Tracy Reed, but I am using uh, digital elements from a kit from uh, Tracy Reed. And I want to say this is the Time to Thrive, I think is what the collection was called. But you can see details of which collections I'm using this month in my How to Kill a Kit with Style video from earlier in March. So that is layout number two. Super fun. I pulled out some of my acrylic pieces as well. So I have both, I think, Bramble Fox and uh, Colorcast. I think there's both companies on this layout. So really fun. Love it. My third layout, we are going to jump all the way to day 11, which was an Allison Davis sketch, and Allison Davis sketches are always beautiful, and in this case was two pages, but because I don't actually do two-page layouts, uh, very, 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 very rarely, uh, pretty much like never, um, so I decided to just do a take on page one of her sketch, so I kept true to the three photos, even though there was two smaller ones, I think down here. I kept my title in sort of the same area and did an embellishment clusters here with the title as opposed to two photos. And then 
um, I guess there is kind of like what you could be an embellishment cluster up here. And then on the second page, there was like sort of, I think a, a place for a photo and some embellishing. So I pulled that over from sketch from the second page of the sketch to create a third embellishment cluster here on the page above my photo on the right so that I would get my visual triangle on my page, which I do always enjoy a a visual triangle and this one was uh, using a page kit that I had put together so it has some Vicki Booten, some Paige Evans, I think this is a pink fresh paper, lots of different combinations of pattern papers on this one that I threw in that kit. So I do really like how this turned out and I was taking some water splashing pictures of my son in the pool and decided to scrapbook those for this one. And the last layout that I have to show you is actually from a very loose interpretation of March 20th. Um, and really, <laughs> I would say the only inspiration that I kind of took from the sketch was the block of papers that kind of were in the center that the 4x6 went on. And so I have this larger block and then I have a pattern paper that I have just a little piece sticking out of the top and bottom and then from there I basically did my own thing. Um, the original has two embellishment clusters here and here and then the title in the middle. This uh, doesn't really have a title. I guess you could call it Enjoy Every Moment or Dream Big or You Are Magical. You could make any of those the title or you could say so cute. Uh, it is just a fun photo of my daughter. I think eventually I will put some journaling down in here. But I just wanted something really fun and playful and whimsical uh, to document this beautiful girl. And um, so yeah, I just pulled all of these really fun embellishments out and threw them on this page. Uh, so there's not even a visual triangle. It's just to me really fun and whimsical and playful. And I included one of her favorite things, especially right now, is bubble tea. So I added those on the page. And yeah, love how this turned out. It's fun. It's colorful. It's bright. It's happy. And so that is my loose interpretation of <laughs> sketch number 20 for today. So hopefully this video will actually get up on the 20th. If not, it'll be the 21st. Uh, but I'm hoping to get this processed. It is late in the day and I am way behind. So uh, I'm going to try to get it up so that at least it's out on the actual 20th date. And so with that, I am going to end it here. We'll see if I get any more created with the sketches for this month. And if I do, um, I will probably just process, do a video share. I think I have two other layouts. One I created that has nothing to do with any of the sketches. Another one I think is based off of one of the sketches, I think later in the month. Um, so I do have a couple more projects coming up, which some will be based off of the 30 days of sketches and some won't. So stay tuned. And with that, guys, I will catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.